Welcome to Time News. Today we will be discussing the latest developments in the longevity industry over the past week. In this episode, we'll have a total of eight news pieces to share with you. First, let's get started with metformin. Early life metformin treatment in juvenile mice led to reduced body weight, altered organ weight, and sex dependent effects on glucose and insulin tolerance. These findings underscore how early life metformin usage impacts development and metabolism, potentially influencing age related processes, which is from Southern Illinois University and published in General Science. The next two pieces is on NMN. Harbin Medical University reveals that boosting intracellular NAD levels with NMN can prevent senescence and inflammation. Promoting mitophagy through NAD plus enhancement could be a potential therapeutic approach to prevent CD8 plus T cell senescence and improve survival rates in mice. Second, older male mice inhibits increased mtDNA mutation in small intestines, influencing aging. When mtDNA mutations reach a threshold, intestinal function declines due to ATF5-dependent mitochondrial responses, but supplementing with NMN reverses this effect and can regulate intestinal aging caused by mtDNA mutations, which is done by Chinese scientists and published in Nature Communications. In terms of dietary restriction, researchers from Bach Institute for Research on Aging found that a gene called mtd oxa one is linked to longevity effects of dietary restriction in flies. As flies age, mtd oxa one decreases, causing problems in the cellular recycling system called the rachoma. Restoring the rachoma function reduces lifespan and delays age-related issues. The study is published in Nature Communications as well. Next is a new anti-aging pathway. The study uncovers that the mevalonate pathway involved in cholesterol production promotes cellular aging. It triggers mitochondrial dysfunction, DNA damage, and ultimately leads to cellular senescence. The finding highlights the connection between cholesterol biosynthesis and the aging process, offering insights into potential pathways for age-related health issues, which was published in NPJ Aging. What about the studies in flies? In Aging Cell, a study investigated how aging impacts the metabolic cycles in Drosophila. Comparing young and old flies, distinct cycling metabolites were found in each group. Overexpression of a key metabolic enzyme, G6PD, in circadian clock neurons affected sleep, implicating metabolic regulations in neural activities and circadian patterns, which is done by the University of Pennsylvania. In science advances, American scientists used a mathematical model to understand ovarian aging, by simulating the loss of primordial follicles. It replicates patterns seen in women's natural menopause age, shedding lights on the menopausal transition and providing insights into variability of ovarian aging. Finally, Chinese scientists found a complex that increased in the age of stem cell due to reduced degradation signals. Surprisingly, the complex doesn't affect a specific type of RNA as expected. Instead, it harms stem cell through a process called necroptosis. Blocking necroptosis lessens the damage pointing the potential therapy for aging stem cells, which is in Nature Aging. Thank you for joining us on this week's Time News. We hope you found these updates informative and inspiring, and don't forget to subscribe our channel. We'll see you in next week's broadcast, wishing you a happy and long life.